I see this work as one of the most powerful artistic representations of woman in the history of art. She's completely at ease and staring down any kind of gaze. The body is in no way objectified in the early 20th century. It was owned by several important artists, André Derain and Jacob Epstein, and it was amused to Picasso and Flamenc. This work provided them with a new visual language to depart from classical antiquity. The artist has distilled the body into individual units, the calves, the thighs, the forearms, the upper arms, the shoulders, united in this body that is pulsating with life. This work was a lifeline for the Fang extended family that commissioned it. This was positioned at the summit of a family altar that was filled with relics, physical bodily matter associated with distinguished ancestors. She served as a guardian, the summation, a distillation of all that was contained within the altar. The deep, inky black of the wood might, at first glance, reference the race of the subject, but is in fact a reflection on the idea of loss and absence. The work is reflecting on the importance of remembering one's forebears, their achievements. The artist was trying to represent an ideal woman a conflation of all the women of an extended family. To me, this is a celebration of the supreme confidence and comfort that a woman who's at the prime of life feels in her own body. When I relate to it as a living human being, I am acutely aware of the brevity of that moment. It grapples with the thing in life that we're most familiar with, our own bodily presence.